at the Homeless FA, we are using football to help facilitate positive changes. All right, off we go. Right, Stevie, take, take. I've led a troubled life in and out of prison and hostels and street homeless, and I've just been uh, accepted onto this course. I think something special that, that we do with the homeless sector is um, give these guys and girls the opportunity to engage with a, a really big thing like a football club. There's nine homeless FA training centres around the country uh, at various different uh, football stadiums and we're privileged to be one of those here at Brighton over Albion. The players can feel part of the club so from the first moment they get here we get them into a kit, um, we get their portfolios taken. Today here at Brighton um, we had an ex-professional of Brighton and a few other clubs and he did a, a Q&A session with, with all the, the, the players here. Well, I love football, I love football, I love, I love being in groups with, you know, sport. How would he know that I'm going to pass him the ball? No, no, no. Make sure they're looking. Anyway. Sure they're looking. Thank you. The football just acts as a way to get them in, interested and engaged. It's brilliant, especially when you've been homeless and you feel outcasts, you know, people looking down at you, you know, looking, you know, and it's to be, I mean, you look around you now, everyone's accepting everyone. It's, it's nice, look at, you know. It's a, it's a feeling I've ever felt before, so it's hard to kind of describe it. Go. We've got people here that are football coaches who've played for the England Homes World Cup football team. When you're playing, if you've got the right attitude and you're working hard, you've got that right, right mentality, then you can go far. So hopefully we want to try and take those values and transfer them into their life. There's a qualification that everybody's going to be doing called the Community Sports Leaders Award. And uh, that Community Sports Leaders Award will complete over the course of the next five weeks. They're in the classroom environment, so we try and adapt that to be almost similar towards a working environment. And all we hope for is that each week it progresses and when the training centre has finished, they still implement those changes. It could be getting a job, it could be just uh, moving out of a hostel and going into their own independent accommodation, it could be absolutely anything, you know, but, but so for each person it'll be different, but we're hoping that for each person it'll be something that isn't just about football. I never really used to care about my life, like care about from one day to the next, or be concerned about, you know, future goals or anything like that, whereas now I feel I have things to aim for, and and a, a purpose in my life and something, you know, something achievable.